Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my makeup favorites of 2014 and I chose just to do makeup because I am going to put some hair care in this and you guys can request a skincare routine if you guys want. I can do that in a separate video for 2014 but my favorite is makeup so let's get started. The first things I'm going to mention are foundations. So I'm going to go to foundations, powders, bronzers, blushes, lip products, brushes and um, just a couple of hair things so these two I'm gonna first talk about the Mac studio fluid fix SPF 15 foundation and I did get a pump for it because it is just so much easier to apply on the back of your hand or your brush instead of having to dump the whole thing out I would pick these two because I start out with Mac in the beginning of the year I think it gives great coverage I would think light to medium you can build it up to full but I found out that throughout the day I was getting a little blotchy even with setting with powder um, and then I got a little bit more paler and I tried out the Derma Blend. and I have a whole foundation routine so I will link all the videos I mentioned down below and the products that I'm mentioning so this one is in the lightest shade cream and I'm wearing this one today it gives a flawless matte finish it is definitely it says medium coverage but I like to think it's full do apply it with a brush that I'm going to show you so if you want to see how I apply my foundation again go check out that video oh, definitely 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 best of 2014 is the Mac studio fix fluid line and derma blend this one is in cream and this one is an NW30 so if you're looking for a medium to full coverage matte foundation definitely go check these two out the next product is powders and I did just pick out one and this has been in my favorites video this is by Rimmel stay matte and it is there in their shade transparent it's what I'm wearing today I always set my foundation with powder because it lasts throughout the day um, when you put something liquid on you do want to set it with powder so that lasts longer this one it really does make you look matte it makes you look flawless and it's cheap so it's affordable it's only like four to four something like four ninety nine five something I got mine at Ulta you can get yours at Walmart Target any drugstore definitely go check out the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. The next two items I could not pick because they are just so different and wonderful in their own separate ways. So I'm going to talk about bronzers and I usually use bronzers now just to contour, especially in the winter time. You don't want to look very sun-kissed. So um, I think these are great throughout the year. This one I would say is great throughout summer mostly, but I do have this one on today. This is by MAC and it is by one of their lines. I'm trying to think which line. It was like the aqua one where it's blue and it has bubbles on it. I cannot pronounce the name to save my life but this bronzer is beautiful. It does have a little bit of sheer shimmer in it but you can't really tell once it's applied on the skin. This is more of an orangey undertone bronzer and it is very dry so you really have to pack it onto the brush but I love the color payoff. I think it looks great with a blush if you just want some kind of glow. And then if you want a dark bronzer, I've been using this one for years, like three years now. This one is by Too Faced. It is their Chocolate Soleil bronzer. It smells like chocolate. Oh, literally had this for three years and I barely have made a dent. This one is matte, no shimmer at all, smells like chocolate, and it's a very deep brown. So I think this will look beautiful on every skin tone. Um, so this is more dark chocolatey brown and this one is more of an orange undertone, more for like summer, but I like it all year round. So definitely go check these two out. Again, I will put the links down below. First, let's talk about blushes. So the two blush brands that I would recommend have got to be Milani. I have not checked out Milani like ever besides this 2014 and one of their favorites is Carolina and this is their baked powder blushes. So I love the packaging. It just looks so expensive even though it's super cheap. I think it's only seven bucks but you get a lot of product and they're kind of marbleized which I like and they're very shimmery. I would say that these go on very light. You definitely have to build it up, but I love the colors. I just love shimmer. Um, if you want something a little more matte, definitely check out the NYX powder blushes. This one is always in my makeup bag. I specifically picked this shade because it always looks good. It always looks good with whatever lip color. This one is in mocha and it is kind of like a medium toned pink. 
It has absolutely no shimmer in it, so I love this one. Definitely go check this out. Oh, this one's broken. I've had it for years. Go check out this one if you want a new, like, matte pink. If you want something a little more sparkly and glowy and just fresh, I would definitely go check out the Milani's Baked Powder Blushes. You will not be disappointed. Moving on to the eyes. So I picked out four shadows out of this palette that I made. This is a Z palette, so it is magnetized, so you can depot. And I didn't even put, like, stickers or anything, and you just, like, stick them on like that. So... I'm going to mention all Mary Kay eyeshadows. I mean, people are probably ranting about Urban Decay, but honestly, I love Urban Decay eyeshadows. Um, they have vitamin E in them and something else that like helps with wrinkles and stuff, which I didn't know until after I bought them. They go on so smooth. They're super pigmented, and I just... I love them so I'm gonna pick out four shades that actually look really really good together it's like a natural eye so for like a highlight or a lid color definitely honey spice this one's very neutral more on the cream side looks great on every eye color and then for a outer corner like contouring I would definitely choose cinnabar this one is more like a honey not so much dark chocolate but it's more like a honey chocolate kind of reminds me of the color of like a teddy bear go check them out and then to blend everything out I have went to town on this color I've hit pan on this color it is my favorite color I'm wearing it today in my crease this is silky caramel um, definitely one of my favorites and I will repurchase it and then for um, how would I say this it's more like a lighter color than cinnabar this is hazelnut so if you're not into dark browns definitely check this lighter one out it's really good for a transition or even depth within the um, outer eyelid so go check those colors out all of these are matte besides um, honey spice honey spice is something I would put on the lid so definitely go check those out I do have a beauty consultant because you can only purchase them if you have a Mary Kay beauty consultant and um, I will link her down below with her Facebook. So if you guys want any of these colors, go ask her and tell her I sent you. Continuing on with the eyes, I'm going to mention my two absolute favorite 2014 eyeliner. I always get asked what kind of eyeliner I use and mascara. So liquid liner is my best friend. I don't really care for gel. I don't really care for pencil. I think pencils are dry, you know. It's just I think liquid is so much more easier for me just because I've been working with it for years. If you are starting out with makeup, I would definitely try a gel just because it is more thicker consistency and it goes, it like glides on, like it directs you on where to go. Liquid, you kind of have to have a steady hand or you will mess up. This is the Kat Von D. I've repurchased this three times. It is amazing. It does not come off. Um, you can always get a precise cat eye with it so it's really hard to mess up with this liquid eye pencil it's just a perfect point it is a brush tip which I liked because felt is very hard and unmanageable to work with so definitely check out the Kat Von D1 brush tip it is their tattoo liner so go check this out my favorite mascara I've been wearing this mascara since last February this is the Mary Kay Lash Love mascara I have this on today also and I love it. The brush is rubberized and it's in the blackest color. I mean, it's in black. They come in black and brown. It's a rubberized wand. I just love rubberized wands because I think it separates the lashes um, better than just like a filled brush. You know what I mean? It gives great length, great volume. I love this and it's perfect for lower lashes. It just separates them. So I would definitely check out the Love Lash because um, they have two different kinds love lash and then there's another one I can't think of but this one's my favorite I swear by it check it out moving on to lips and you guys know I'm a lip junkie so this was super hard but I did pick out one lipstick that I think looks good all year and then I picked out a few lip glosses that I think looks good on all year so the lipstick is actually what I'm wearing and I wore all these products on purpose so you can kind of see what they look like. So this is by Calvin Klein and it is called Miss Me. I love it. Here, I'll swatch it. So it looks more red on camera, but it's actually more pink. And I just, I think it's gorgeous. It's not even like a berry. It's more neutral, like a neutral pink. Maybe a little bit darker. It looks great in the winter. Um, 
I think it's just like an everyday color. I always gravitate toward it and it, it, it smells like vanilla and it tastes like vanilla. It is so good. Definitely go check out the Calvin Klein. I did, really didn't like any of the other shades. Um, so go check out Miss Me. And then through summer, I'm more of lip glosses and chapsticks. So I would definitely recommend the NYX Butter Glosses. I have gone through so many tubes of this, especially uh, creme brulee is great for a dark eye so you can nude out the mouth so your eyes stand out creme brulee is the way to go and these are very pigmented and if you have like a peach blush on kind of like what I have on right now um, apple strudel very very awesome it's it's great orange undertone and then if you have a pink blush on I would definitely recommend meringue this one's like a purpley pink I would definitely recommend this one if you have dark hair I think blondes would even look pretty in this but definitely my favorite pink orange and nude go check them out that is all of the makeup and now I'm gonna go through the brushes I use these brushes are always in my makeup bag to me I think brushes are really boring to talk about but since this is makeup and use brushes to apply your makeup I just thought I would go through some of the brushes that I use and they're all different brands <laughs> So let me get started. So lately I've been applying my foundation with the Sedona Lace FB07. It is a flat top kabuki brush and it's super soft so I just use it to blend in my foundation. And then for blush I use the Sedona Lace 850. This is a pink handle with silver meddling and this is black by the way. It's definitely fluffy. It's not hard to blend with at all so love that. For face powder I just use a simple old elf brush. This is the complexion brush. I love this. I just dab it on. It's so easy to clean. It's not too thick. It is perfect. So moving on to eyes, I have two from the pink collection and then one black. So this, these two are by Sedona Lace also. And this one is a flat tip. And I just use this for the lid and some highlighting. This one is Sedona Lace 305. And this one is more for contouring into the outer corners of your eyes to give your eyes contouring dimension all that jazz this is the 904 it's very small it's very tapered so I like that and then for blending this one's actually from my friend tree my channel and yes I do still have the sticker on it tree uh, she says my favorite brush and I've had this on it since our swap this is by Mac and it's the 224 brush Great for blending, I absolutely love it. So fluffy, so easy to clean, it's great. So last but not least is hair, and like I said, if you guys want me to talk about skin, I will definitely do a separate video, but let's move on to hair. So, I'm gonna talk about a hairspray I love. Oh, this is, it's a 10. It's a 10 is a fantastic, like, hairline, hair product, styling, shampoos, everything. So it is fairly expensive, but if you have your cosmetology license or esthetician license, you get all these products discounted. So I'll put the website down below, see what I can find for you guys at a cheaper price. So it's it's a 10 Miracle Super Hold Finishing Spray. Now it says finishing spray, but I just use that as hairspray. Extra hold, like not crunchy at all. Like I used it today and my hair is like super soft. It's just very voluminous. So. It says, firm hold, long lasting, dry spray for finished styling, weightless, um, humidity resistant, which is why I bought it, because I bought this in the summer, and this is like my third bottle. Um, won't build up, keratin enriched, uh, light conditioning, volumizing, and imparts shine. So it does make your hair super shiny, very flexible, it holds. Go check this out now. If you wanted a cheaper version, I always go back to Trust May too. This one's a little travel thing I carry in my purse for emergency, but this is the Trust May, let me see, extra firm control. And this stuff is only like five bucks if you get the really, really big one. But if you want a professional line, it's a 10 is the way to go. Drugstore, get the Trust May. The last product is dry shampoo, and I always pronounce this wrong. It's like Bastier, Batiste, whatever. This is a dry shampoo and fruity and cheeky cherry instant hair refresh for all hair types. I've got my guy friends to try this. It works on their hair. If their hair is greasy, it just soaks it all up. And then when you put it in, you just like go like this. And it gives my hair so much volume on third day hair. 
I love it. So they have tons of different scents. They have different patterns. My favorite is the fruity and cheeky chair. Hey guys, so that was my makeup slash hair favorites for best of the best 2014. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you agree with me on any of these products or tell me what your favorite best of the best 2014 product is. Don't forget to follow me on all my social networks down below and subscribe to my channel and you can be a part of my YouTube family. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!